Hello, this is Cartman Productions, and today, we're going camping. Alright boys, getting ready to go on our first run. We got two cases of water, we got our tents, we got our tools, we got all that stuff. We're gonna go back up tomorrow for the actual camping trip with Mr. Ben Crespo. Oh my god! And of course, Wyatt the Warner Boy. Wyatt! <laughs> Wyatt the Warner Boy! We're gonna go up with this guy, the Tote Goat. We're also gonna be bringing the Killer Reaper, Fire Kill, and the Yamaha Blue 80. It's actually a PW80 now. Found that out with a quick Google search. We're gonna head up the mountain right now and set up the camp the night before to ensure that nobody else takes the campsite that we have decided to use for this camping trip before we have a chance to actually get up there. I'm sorry, old man, I'm having an uh, autistic seizure. Where do you want this table? All right, so I'm gonna set it right on top of the campfire. That way we can cook stuff on it. You guys can't tell from the video this table is plastic. I think that's gonna be a wonderful grill. We got this creek down here. It's a wonderful creek. Old man is freaking out. He's getting some PTSD from the last time we were up here at past dark, huh? Now we watch as the wild old man is setting up his tent, but beware. If you approach him, he may boy. These are vicious woodland creatures. If you see one in the wild, do not approach. These creatures are known to ruthlessly attack you with puns, jokes, sometimes even their Karen uh, the spouses. Just talking about him has alerted him of my presence as he is now firing away, destroying my self-esteem. One depressing comment at a time. One day later, we're back, and we're getting the trailer out of storage, setting it up, loading it up, and getting ready to head out. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to Warner Boys, the channel which we bring you... You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. I just steal my channel, you know I have more subs than you. Wrong one. Fine, welcome back to Cutman Productions. The only channel that flips over go-karts for your own amusement. Don't, don't, don't look at Whistling Diesel, okay? Uh, he doesn't exist. Uh, oh, yes, of course. You know, for the test, I really think that uh, we should have Wyatt uh, lay down on this. Watch me be cool. I was on camera. That was on camera, I did that. Get in, Wyatt. In, in, get in. We have candy. Oh, you have candy? Yeah. What do I have to do? Just lay down in there. You guys are right. It's time to travel, to learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Oh no, my mom says I shouldn't. Hey kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay! Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Welcome to Why It Thinks About Life. What if Captain Hook, right? Okay, that's all I got so far. What if Captain Hook?
insurance doesn't pay for that. <laughs> what insurance? Ah, you got games on your phone? Oh, God. <laughs> you got games on your phone? No? Okay, I'll go ask someone who does. Come in, I have a complaint. I have yet to get a uh, quote from, on the channel. Uh, Ben's Dingus of the Day Award goes to you. No, then he's gonna quote you for that. I need a quote. <laughs> My insurance doesn't pay for that. <laughs> So we are currently getting everything ready. What's up, boys? Uh, the, not just boys. There's dinosaurs, there's cats that watch this. Also, I know my cousins watch your channel. Hello, hello, Wyatt's cousins. Um, hello, Wyatt's cousins. Their names aren't Wyatt's cousins, though. Uh, they, they, hello, Wyatt's cousins. No. You don't, you don't know who I am, but I know who you are, and I am rapidly approaching. Run <laughs> Also, fast. there's seven and eight. Run faster. <laughs> well, Maybe run seven. from him. He's kind of weird. What about if you made a 40-minute video, and every time someone said a single sentence, you quote it? So, hey, what are we doing today? Quote. And then after that, hey, let's go on a ride. Quote. Just everything you quote. It'll be a long video. That's pretty dumb. Quote. Hey, you should quote that. Quote. That's pretty dumb. Are you sure you're not Indiana Jones? Prove to me that you're not Indiana Jones. Uh, Indiana Jones doesn't like Van Halen because he was in a movie like before and that showed up. Real fast? You guys worry about loading the uh, stuff up, vehicles. I don't like worrying. I have to worry now? I'm worried about the vehicles to, that we have to, to load. I have to work now. I'm kind of worried about those vehicles we have to load. I don't like working. Then why do you just become American? I am American. Do you know that you can save 10% more on Geico by switching to Geico? I can save on Geico by switching to Geico. <laughs> yeah. So if you switch to Geico... I think I'm saying Geico too much. We might get copyrighted. I'm going to stand right next to the door when Sam opens. I really hope it's not his mom that opens the door right now. Okay, guys. Here's the grand reveal as soon as you open this door. He's taller than me, so I have to like hold up the phone. This head is about like, what, right here? You got games on your phone? Shut <laughs> up. It's the 10th time he's asked that today. I will figure out the answer. I'm probably the most beautiful thing in this garage. Out of all three of us, which one's gonna fall asleep first tonight? Probably you. Probably, actually. Okay, who's second? Him. I never sleep good. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I, my my needs are very specific for sleep. Right, oh, and an air mattress again. does not mean any of yeah. those. How many pillows do you it's, need? It's uh, a chain and cable. One, one yeah, very stiff one. And I've got a soft one. So. What? Hey, you want to heal the inside of my throat? Check it out. It, it, it does. I'm gonna go bother the cut, man. Wow, I feel so safe up here. I really hope no cut, cut jars up here. I should probably get down because the cuts can drive up here. What do you think? Should cut me into a face of you? Yes. That's... Who are you talking to? Who are you? <laughs> I gotta go. So shortly after this, we went and got ourselves some Costco pizza. Best pizza in the town, by the way. And then we started to head up the mountain. Old man, this beautiful, beautiful road in North Idaho, what do you have to say? Uh, let's stop at Costco and get a slice of pizza. Master of persuasion. Warner Boys, what do you have to say? In case I die, Dad, tell my mom I love her. Thank you. Uh, oh, also, uh, Mom, hi. Don't give the Beyblades to CJ or my phone. phone. Actually, I have my phone. No mind, we're good. What about you, sir? What do I say if I die? Mm -hmm. Put up a statue of me oh. in front of every oh, single house. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in a cape and I also want to have a tuxedo on at the same time. Monocle, a two foot top hat, a wallet bulging with money in one hand and a burger in the other. I also want to have sunglasses that are really cool and are made of gold. And I also want it to be erupting with cheese. So oh, that people can just dip their fries or something. In there. I'm trying not to blink at all during this whole footage of camping. Every time camera's on me, I'm not gonna blink. That's my entire goal. I so. think you blinked. Did I blink already? No, no. Did I bl no, I'm not blinking. That's my, that's my goal. Never in this video are you gonna see me okay. blink. Hey, cop man, please, don't jump. You got so much to live for. You still have to post those videos. You still got a whole bunch of videos you need to publish. Just jump after you post them. Fine, mom. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the car, honey. Wait, I don't have any videos I need to publish. Wait, I don't have any videos I need to publish. I'm free to go. 
I realize I'm afraid of heights. Never mind. Let me bring you an exclusive toy. If you come over here and you look to your left, you miss everything on your right. So this is where we are right now. We are at Independent Creek. But if you go north, this way, you go to Clark here. Well, we're not. Also, that's a different word for alcohol. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's that? Where that's we a, right. We're right there. No, we're right here on Idaho. And so that's honeysuckle. We're in Idaho. Now, one of the first things you want to do when you go on a hike like this is you want to get a walking stick. Make sure it's a good stick, like this one. A few moments later. What did that tree do to you? Oh my god, please. Leave that tree alone, it did nothing to you. Oh, your poor tree. Oh. Walking stick, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Could I have go out in the hedge trimmers in the car? <laughs> yes. Guys, if you don't subscribe, he's gonna go to your house and take off your tree branch. And you want your tree branches, because your mom will be mad if you don't lose your tree branches, so just subscribe. You hear, you hear that sound? That's what we call H2O. It's a H2O river. A river of H2O. Hashtag why it is funnier than Ben, because Ben isn't that funny. Why it is funnier. That's a big hashtag, but I believe in you guys. Oh, if we be quiet, we can see an old man in his natural habitat. Look, we have to sneak up on the predators. No, he's back away. He's very scared by the sound of teens who have no idea what they're doing. So watch, we might be able to get it up close. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, the very rail. Very, very. Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh, these are wild. Now, if you ever come across it, make sure you eat your vegetables when you're around these, because they do not like vegetables. Here's what you need to do, okay? You need to slowly back up, use a natural stick to whack the ground in front of you. It creates a sort of barrier between you and them, they perceive the line that you're whacking the stick in as a threat and will not enter it. Do your mating call. As such, you can slowly back up and build it. Huh. Ah! <laughs> I'd like a couple of did, you, did you just smack me in the arm or something? Yes. Freak you! What do you do? Freak you! Okay, oh, he's, he's coming! Ah! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Ah! <laughs> Beat him with the stick! So I'm standing there and I feel something hit my arm. I'm like, who? What the heck? So the fires over here at Pritchard. And this is the North Fork. This is a little North Fork. I know, they're over in here. Where are we? Iron Creek, we're up here. So we, what? Honey suckles right here. That's far, far enough. Excuse me, cut man. So there's no fires allowed, right? Yep. Then explain this. Oh no! He's going back to his insane mode. Well, what really freaks me out is the fact that they, they shot their own sign backwards and forwards. You see? Oh, oh my god! Why shoot the sun? This isn't a deer. Oh There's my not god. even a picture of the deer on here. Why shoot a sign? They're stone troopers. Oh, they're leaving without us. We gotta go. Oh no! <sighs> sir! Sir! No, sir! Wait! We are currently on the road to the campsite. I don't know if you'll be able to pick them up in the background, but they're shouting for the echoes and stuff. So I'm just uh, using the bathroom real quick for a little pit stop, and then we're gonna get back on the trail, get to our campsite, and then we'll have to set up the tents and such. So yeah, look forward to that. Do I have Suspect to do some social interaction out here? Okay, everyone, let's sing the road trip song. Road trip, trip road trip, no. Ah, that's all the lyrics in it. Is that, is that road literally trip, the entire lyrics? Road trip, road trip, yay. We'll that's, that's crash fun. this car into a tree. Are we oh, there yet? one yeah. bottle of wine on the wall. They take one down. Bottles of milk on the wall. Yeah, yeah. 99 bottles of milk. Take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of milk on the wall. Remember when they did 99, 99 bottles of bleach on the wall? This is the song that never oh, ends, no. as it goes on and on, my friends. So they started singing it, not knowing what it was, but they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that never ends, as it goes on and on, my friends. I'm going to do this, and then they're just going to crash the car. Oh, now. yeah. Now, if you look to your right, you will see a lot of, yeah, you will see a lot of greenery, including shrubs, trees, and grass. If you look to your left, you will see more greens, such as trees, shrubs, and grass. 
little to no, little known to uh, geologists everywhere is that grass isn't actually green. It is verde, which is Spanish for green. Many scientists uh, hypothesize that dirt grows in the ground, but no, it grows in the dirt. Many scientists also believe that trees are made of wood. They are not. They are surrounded by bark. Tonight on Hikers Travels, four hikers go into the Idaho woods, never to be seen again. So, we're here in the north, north part of Idaho. Uh, we're surrounded by woods and shrubs and grass, and this is peak Sasquatch territory. And we've got our panels of scientists, and we've got our adventure hats going on, and we're, we're going to be looking for some premium uh, squatch tracks to see if we can actually find Bigfoot. Uh, we might not actually find anything, but you know, we're gonna make money with this show anyway. Let's go. Well, we may not find Bigfoot, but we will find a big thumb. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cummin, what do you know about this Sasquatch that's going around? Do you think it's a myth or a legend? Me? <laughs> that's the same thing. I tell you. Sasquatch? It's a Sasquatch, but it has saws for hands. Now this is a fantastic car. Known as the Unstoppable Ford, they have made such a fantastic machine. Not only is it dependable and rugged, it is also luxurious and splendid. The leather, soft as a cow because it is a cow, looks like it has been sewn by Himalayan seamstresses. Every single suture is perfectly made, perfectly spaced, so that if you get a little bit of peanut butter in there, it'll just stay in there for the rest of time. The wood paneling on the dashboard looks like it has been cut from an Egyptian log. Not like not like a tree, just like, like a big pile of poo. Because it's brown. Other than that, it's got a, to a towing space of one go-kart and a bunch of stuff. And it can pull a trailer like a truck, because it's a truck. It's got this thing, it's got uh, windows, like in an airplane, so if you ever want to, you know, chuck, like, a chip box, because that's the only thing that fits out this window, you could totally do that. But if you want to, you know, stick your head out and be comfortable, that's a different story, because you end up doing this, and something like you can get your arms stuck in there and you can get it like hurt. You can really get it out there, but then it's like this is way too thick and it really hurts your arm parts. And then you have to like leverage your way out because it's not, it's, it's way too thick here. So I can't be comfortable going outside of the car. Uh, other than that, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a truck. The speedometer says it goes up to 100 and 120. 120. Uh, not that anyone's gonna want to drive a truck fast, unless you're O.J. Simpson. Hey Ben, how do forest fires happen? Well, you see, one try. But trees don't want to be trees no more. They just say, you know what? It's getting hot in here. And then they just decide to get on fire. But does that hurt the other trees? Exactly. Because of one person's actions, everyone else has to pay the reprimands. It's just like an analogy with everyday life. Say you're in a group of friends and one of them gets in trouble. You are then seen as helping the accomplice and then you are been put in jail even though you did absolutely nothing you have been framed see life is cruel and unfair kids that's why you should live it while you can before you get arrested or worse dead now this right here is their uh, remains of the uh, Memorial Day on fire we just rolled into camp Let's get unloaded. Okay. All right, let's try to get some good video of this. So okay. check, are my tires lined up? On the back? They're lined up with the ramp. Um, not the... The left one is, not the right one. If you die, it's not my fault. Oh, hi. 
I, so I did it, but I realized I like this too much, so I didn't stamp it off. Easy does it. Now since I wanted to test out my new underglow that we threw on in a previous episode, let's head out for a night ride and see just how much the fire kill lights up the airfield. Well, if we don't come back alive, uh, can we have hamburgers tomorrow? Sure. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna have hamburgers tomorrow if I don't come back alive. Okay. Just don't kill me, I appreciate it. We're gonna find Sasquatch, we're gonna find Sasquatch. Where is he? Where is he? Does he really have big feet? I don't know. Ow, that hurts. All these stream rats are attacking me. Yes, they are. So do we show them the trails over there or do we go up the road that way? Uh, we can go on the trails if his uh, moped can survive it. He's been wanting to go on a ride, so let's give him a ride. <laughs> let's give him some dust. Oh god, wait, you mean actually go over it? Because I got these walkie talkies. Okay, I guess we're going over it. <laughs> yeah, he's questioning it now. Oh, 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 he fell. Oh no, not yet. Still making it? Oh, he's good, almost fell. Now the thing is, I don't know what's back here. There's a large run in there, so watch. Uh, Bigfoot? Might have got that video actually. Look at this path, it goes, uh, oh, okay. Let's just see where this goes. Always happy to help. At least you don't have to take a bath now. At least you don't have to take a bath now. Thank you, I was on the phone right now. Oh wow, took us in a circle basically. Let's cross here. Ah. Look at that beautiful water guys. You guys probably can't see it, but it's beautiful. Oh god! That's okay, right? It won't get won't get the LED lights. Hey Hong Kong! That was awesome. My shoes are incredibly wet because of you. I'm sorry! You're not. You should have just lifted up your legs. Uh oh, just gonna get some footage. Here we found a school bus that had been converted to a camper slash toy hauler. So they had a razor on the back and they had a whole home set up on the inside. We were actually able to tour it. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the tour that he gave us, but really cool build. If you see him around, definitely say hi. Tax exemption. He's so manly. Now say something not manly. I like watching cartoons on Sunday. What kind of cartoons? Don't you dare stay by ten. I'm just so manly. Now there's a small trail that heads up the mountain just behind our camping site. So the climb up is pretty slow, but the climb down... Yeah, that's right, climb down. <laughs> you heard me right. It's a paradox, huh? What are you gonna do about it? The ride down, however, is quite entertaining because they've put little humps in the road and so you can kind of jump off of these humps. So let's go ahead and head down this and there's some pretty darn cool bank corners at the bottom. It's like one of my favorite trails. Hi guys, today I'm the cameraman but I'm blind because if I open my eyes, smoke will get in them. So let's hope you all are getting a good shot right now. And if the camera's shaky, it's not us, it's you. Here's the deal guys, Mr. Ben here, 
How'd that go? Oh, not too bad until the chain tensioner on the Yamaha sheared off. So I got that all fixed up, kind of, with paper clips holding the bolt on and uh, the strip nut holding the chain tight. Uh, we are good to go for another ride. Well, Dino. Is the engine even on right now? Nope. Look at that disrespectful, he just throws the stuff everywhere. He stopped. Oh god. Kids, wear your helmets! Talking. That Thank was you. the most I've ever had to focus in my entire life. <laughs> this hand is really sore now. Well, you're almost there. First person mode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce the release of a brand new Cartman Karen Customs vehicle. This is the two log raft. It's literally just two logs tied very sketchily together with some paracord. Let's have some fun with this. Welcome to Cartman Cruise Line. Is this going to work? Gonna work? Yeah. There's no way this is going to work here if you hold this. Yeah. you got to believe in the power of our family. Alright, welcome to Cartman oh, Cruise Line. We're beach. Hey, what did the water say for the boat? Right to sink it? Nothing. But go over there, go over there. The water can't talk. What did the boat say? The water. Keep it in the shallows. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, there we go. I, can I don't the, know if this is gonna sink. The back so. is dragging. Right yeah. Now. yeah, that's what I. Let's keep it over there in case it sinks. Oh god, oh. You, it's sinking. It's going down. No, no, no. Believe no. Oh, balance, ah. balance, ah. balance. Believe ah. yourself. Ah. Believe ah. yourself. Ah. No. Ah. Oh, there it goes. No. Oh. Ah. Did you ah. cut yourself? Yeah, I'm good. Oh man. Maybe you guys should cut off the sticks on that one. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I agree. I very much agree. Alright. 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 Yeah, you. Hey. Hey, kid. Hey, uh, 
I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, great, you got that on video too, perfect. <laughs> And get me eating saltines on you also. Now, I know you guys have been eyeing that airfield since the moment we set foot on it over a year ago. You guys have been wanting to see a drag race. So here we go. Kill a Reaper versus Tote Goat versus Yamaha PW80 versus the Fire Kill Cart. Back to camp, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, was that fun. Yeah, I don't think I won a single drag race. Man, that Yamaha though, that thing got some serious I didn't think that was gonna beat the fire kill, like. It also got the taste for flesh. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I got some flesh on its muffler as well. It's so, old man, any final comments? That was fun, lots of fun. Ben, any final comments? Don't do it why it did, which is, uh, what is it what why it did? Burn your leg. Why do you have anything to say? This water isn't actually 99% water, it's 100. Inspirational. We can come over here. This is our tent we were using. And we built this little log bridge across the creek here. We also built that little rock dam. And up there, there's a little pool of water. You probably already saw it. We were uh, swimming around in it, built a raft. I think we've increased the property value here by like double. It was very fun. Yeah, Mr. Frito, the Frito man lives here. I mean, isn't it free to live here? So what, why, did, how did the property get doubled? Stop asking good questions. I would say this was good fun. Oh yeah, up till the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for Wyatt. No, I put myself right in front of the camera too. How <laughs> can the camera can ask like me? Like, ah! Oh my god! I was asking if I had games on his phone and then I broke my leg. So, you have games on your phone! It's payback. <laughs> now you want more games. The game of death. Instead of the game of life, it's just the game of death. <laughs> or debt. Game of <laughs> the, the game of debt. I used to like that. Now I like it a little bit less because I think it gave me two concussions. Toad Goat is the same as ever, it's a tank. And then the Yamaha, probably the most dependable of them all. Because all you need to do I is think. just choke it. And then it'll start right up. And it's a, that's a lot of fun. I gotta get me one of those.
Man, last day. Just decided to take out, take a little walk. And wow. This place is so pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at all those trees up there. And the moon is so pretty. Wow. I am smiling. Oh, wow. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to take a few pictures of this because this is absolutely stunning. That's the airfield. That's where we did all the go-karting stuff. And just look at that. Look at that. What a view. Let me try to get a wide shot. Oh. Oh. The mountain. Oh, wow. You know... I was debating whether or not I should do this in 60 frames per second, but <laughs> I think it's worth it just to get like all of this. This is so pretty. Oh man. I love it here. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, you know, okay, so last night it kind of sucked a little bit because uh, yesterday we spent a lot of time outside in the, uh, in the pool, or not really pool, it's sort of like a pond, and, uh, <laughs> my back was definitely facing the sun, because my shoulders are very much sunburnt, and I should have put sunburn not only on my face, but on my body as well, so that was, that was 100% my fault, but, wow, what a trip. Woodpecker. <sighs> oh, and there's a squirrel over there in that tree. Wow. I hope I hope that picked it up. Cause that that was a that was a loud woodpecker. I hope he does it again. So yeah, what a trip. It's Man, yep, what a trip. I mean, if anyone has the chance to go out into a place like this during the summer to just hang out with friends, absolutely take it. Because even though you could have a crappy night's sleep and the food that you have is in the same quality of food that you have at home. It's just worth it to be outside. And yeah, there's there's a hundred things that are better when you're inside, but you don't get to experience the the beauty of nature unless you're up close to it. Yeah, you could see it through a 4K UHD TV screen, but you don't get any of this. It's just, wow. I'm going to take a lot of pictures for family because this is a, this is a beautiful, beautiful spot. <laughs> wow. I'm going to see if I can get that one woodpecker just by itself.
Now what you're looking at right now is an offer up listing Wyatt created of the banana he stapled to this tree while we were leaving the campsite. I didn't know about it until he sent me the offer up list. So um, Wyatt, good luck on your sale. Unfortunately, this campsite has been torn down since this point because somebody had bought up this property and they decided to set up their camp where we had ours. So unfortunately, this campsite no longer exists and this very well may be some of the last footage of this campsite before it was torn out by the landowner. It was a really great campsite and I'm gonna miss it. With that being said, every fun time must come to an end and as such, we are now heading back up the mountain. Some of the views up here are crazy. Now, can you believe that we took this road on the three-seater oh. at night? Oh. It was like half. It was like a dusk. I bet if you want some bum luck, Adam. Yep, you sir. Hey, sir, this is my truck. Old man, I think you should say the line. With that being said, I hope to see you in the North Idaho Mountains sometime in the near future. But till then, it's Cartman Productions. Peace out. Next time on Cartman Productions.